The objective is to solve word problems with line plots. Here we have a table and a chart. As you can see, we have a list of students and we have a distance in miles. So this table is showing the distance that Mrs. Smith's fourth graders were able to run before taking a rest. What we're asked to do is to create a line plot to show this information. A line plot is similar to a number line. We don't put points on the line, but we make marks above the line. The x's go above the line because there are a lot of x's at some of these numbers. For instance, here we have 2 and 1 fourth, which is also equal to 2 and 2 eighths. So we would actually have two x's above 2 and 1 fourth. The other thing that we can see, the other thing that we can see from our table and chart here is what our smallest number is, and then we can also see what one of our larger number is. So our line plot will start it at zero and work up to the number and the whole number three. Zero, one, two, and three. It looks like we have halves, quarter, and eighths within our table here. It'll actually be easiest if we write all of them very similarly, all with the same unit. So for instance, Joe right here would be two and four eighths. One and three fourths is equal to one and six eighths. We have two and an eighth are ready for Bobby. This one here, two and what? Well, we multiply the numerator by two, denominator by two. Two and one fourth is also equal to two and two eighths. Tyler's here, two and two fourths is also equal to two and four eighths. Jenny's is already five eighths, so our unit is the same as we'll put within our number line, and it looks like the bottom one is also two and four eighths. So for our line plot, we'll go ahead and break that apart into eighths in between each whole number. So as you can see, we separate it in between zero and one into eighths. We'll do the same with all the other ones in a little bit. The only person here who is in between 0 and 1 is right here. We have 5 eighths. So I'm hmm, just going to circle that so we know that we used it already. And then we'll go ahead and put an x for our line plot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 eighths. And so right above 5 eighths, we'll go ahead and put an x. And then so that indicates we have one value that is at 5 eighths. In between 1 and 2, we have these people here. And then so we have one person at 1 and 3 fourths, which is also equal to 1 and 6 eighths. And we have one person at 1 and 5 eighths. So we'll go ahead and put one there and one there. Now for 2, let's see. We have Joe at 2 and 4 eighths. So we'll put an X there. We have Bobby at 2 and 1 8. We have Jack now at 2 and 5 8. And here we have our next person is Sasha, which is at 2 and 2 8. Tyler is at 2 and 4 8. We already have somebody at 2 and 4 8. So we'll put one more X for it to build up our line plot there. We have one more person at 2 and 2 eighths, and one more person at 2 and 4 eighths. And then so that's how it is that we have built our line plot. 
So we can read right off of our line plot that there were three values that the fourth graders were able to run two and four eighths miles before their rest. So that line plot is one way to organize that information. For problem two, you will either use the line plot information or you will use the table to help you solve your problem. Please make sure to answer in complete sentences and be sure to label each of those answers as well. Pause the video so that you can either use the table there or the line plot for your work. If you need to write an expression, please be sure to write the expression. Also, please use and make sure you use the original numbers. Here we have another line plot. As you can see, the title of the line plot says apple juice shared with friends. We also have apple juice and cups listed there. I probably would have liked arrows extending for our line plot. And then so this could be the amount of apple juice shared with friends. And then so we would have, and so the indication there is when we have one and two fourths and there's three X's there, that means there's three friends that ended up sharing one and two fourths cups of apple juice, of cups of apple juice um, with their friends. There's also three people here. One, two, and three. Is there another type of question that you could ask with this line plot? I guess you could ask something like, what was the most amount of juice shared with a friend, right? And then so if you were to ask that there, then what would you say? You could say two and two-fourths cups, which is also equal to two and one-half cups was shared by one person with their friends. So we have a line plot there. And then within this lesson, we actually talked about how to take that data from a table to place it onto a line plot.